What is going on fellas? Welcome back to David Credit Nation. So today we are going to talk about an important periodic closing activity of FICA. So we have already talked about this in one of my FICO videos. So this is nothing but foreign exchange revaluation. Now a lot of you may think that we can do foreign exchange revaluation in FICO. Then why should we opt for forex revaluation in FICA? Now let me tell you in excel what's wrong if we do the forex revaluation in fico if you have most of your ar ap postings in fica how fica and fi behave see suppose i have many customers say now what happens when i go when i move the data from fica to fi all of them are merged into one single data okay so all of them are single into one AR recon GL. So all of these postings are posted here. Now in this case, the problem is, I don't know for this customer, what is my foreign exchange exposure that I need to record for this customer, what is my foreign exchange exposure and for somewhere say for customer three and four, I'm gaining due to the change of foreign exchange rate for these three customer I'm gaining for these four customer I'm losing in FICO, if I would have done that, I can see what is my net result. But as a reporting point of view, if you require to, you know, uh, maintain the foreign exchange revaluation per customer, then you have to do the forex revaluation in FICA, not in FICO. So with that being said, I have already created one video in forex revaluation. I'm going to put the description in the I button above so you can go through that. But before I start, I'm just going to, you know, uh, give you a glimpse of what is Forex revaluation. So Forex revaluation is suppose your home currency is USD and you get an invoice of Euro. So suppose you get an invoice of 100 Euro. So when this invoice is posted of 100 Euro, you're going to pay after three months in 100 Euro only. But since your reporting currency is USD, so then the exchange rate might differ. That means when this invoice was posted back then, say, one euro equal to one dollar but when it was paid one euro equal to 1.05 dollar so due to this there can be a foreign exchange rate differential that we need to book so there are two kinds of forex revaluation or foreign exchange gain or loss one is called the realized gain and the other one is called the unrealized gain or loss so let's understand what is unrealized gain or loss say today today is 20th of july say today say i enter into a transaction and an invoice is posted with foreign exchange say an invoice of euro is posted now this invoice needs to be paid after three months that means 20th october i need to pay back this invoice so in that case so when this payment will happen then the exchange rate differential we are going to book it in the realized gain or loss account but on the month end we have to show how much foreign exchange gain or loss are there that is called unrealized gain or loss so that is posted on 31st of july and it will be reversed on 1st of august so in this case if the exchange rate varies from 20th of july versus 31st of july then we have to enter that or book that profit or loss in my accounts and the same will be reversed on the very next date that is on 1st of august so unrealized gain or unrealized loss happens on the month end as a periodic activity but realized gain or realized loss happens on the actual date of payment okay so let's get to the system let me show you my uh, company code here is this is my company code 2409 so when i double click i see that my home currency is usd okay now in this company code i'm going to do a transaction in say euro so slash o i'll go to fpl9 and my contract account is this one so let me see if i have any open item so i don't have any open item as of now so i'm going to post an invoice in this contract account slash o fpe1 obviously it is in fica it is in sub ledger so say a couple of days back say i want to book an invoice on 10th of july an invoice of euro is posted okay so i am booking a transaction which is not in my home currency all right so 
I am going to book this transaction. Say I am going to book a hundred euro worth of transaction. Okay, with that I am going to save it. So the transaction is booked in the sub ledger in FICA. So when I go to my FPL nine, I see that it has a hundred dollar invoice where my document currency is euro, but my local currency is USD. So how does this hundred uh, Euro becomes one twenty three point seven nine uh, USD. So there is an exchange rate which is maintained. Go to OB zero eight where you can see the exchange rate between Euro and from currency Euro to currency USD. So exchange rate from one one nine seventy ninety eight is one point two three seven nine four, and from nineteen seven it is one point one two three four five. All right. So Uh, when i book this entry on 10th of july so this exchange rate has been taken so here if you see it says that it is a exchange rate 1.23794 this exchange rate has been taken why this conversion is needed because we have to report all the transaction in my local currency or company code currency so in my balance sheet or profit and loss account i have to record everything in usd Not in euro. That's why the euro transaction is automatically translated into USD. Say I need to pay this invoice on say tenth of August. That is um, twenty days from now. So in this case, I before I uh, record the realized gain or loss, I have to on the month end I have to run the foreign exchange revaluation because on that particular date we have to find out how much have we lost or have we earned. So this is unrealized gain or loss because I am not actually earning anything or I am not actually losing anything. But financial reporting asks us to calculate this profit or loss, okay? And it will be reversed on the very next date. So for the FICA foreign exchange revaluation, the T code is slash o f p w one. So I am going to do the foreign exchange revaluation on thirty first of July. For my company code twenty four zero nine. Again, for my business partner, I want to do foreign exchange revaluation for the items which are in euro. So I have configured this forex revaluation and I have used the valuation variant as S twenty four. So first, I can run with simulation. Simulation means you will uncheck the posting requested button. Posting requested uncheck means I am not going to do any posting. So with this, we need to run. just come back i want to see it in the alv display okay this display is better much better compared to the normal one so let's execute with simulation run so here we see the euro amount is 150 we just posted an euro amount of 100 dollar but how come this extra 50 is coming so let's open the table slash o ac 16 i want to see if there is any other euro transaction for this bp so tfkkop and enter the contract account execute okay so this contract account has 23 transactions out of which if i look for the currency okay so i see couple of yeah couple of euro transaction if i put a filter so this is how this 150 coming into the picture okay so there are two euro transaction this is the one this this one we just transacted and there were previous 150 dollar I, mean, i mean another 50 dollar transactions were there so total 150 dollar this is my uh, document currency and in local currency it became 185.69 that means there is a difference how this difference is coming so at 1.23794 if i open my excel So one fifty one point two three seven nine four. So equal to this one multiplied by this one is coming as one eighty five point six nine one, which is being shown here. One eighty five point six nine. But on thirty first of March, the exchange rate got changed, got updated. The new exchange rate is this one. So when I do on thirty first of March, this is the latest exchange rate. this is the valid from date so next time this exchange rate will be used so if i deduct we will see the difference so 1.12345 so let's deduct equal to this one minus this one 
I am getting a difference of 0.11449. Now, if I multiply equal to 0.11449 multiplied by this 150, so I will get a difference of 17.17. All right, let us see what does SAP say. SAP says the difference is. 17.17 okay so this is how this valuation different came up that means when i actually going to post the document my posting document will be of 17.17 so this is a difference if you want to see so this is my total record if you want to see the posting wise then you can click here it will tell you so what are the two documents this is going to post so it is going to post one document on 31st of uh, July that is the last date of this month and one more document will be posted on 1st of August that is the first date of the next month because they have to reverse this document right as I told you that this is unrealized gain or loss so that means even if they book it in FI we have to reverse it on the very next date because once it is actually realized then we will account for it but unless it is actually realized on the month end we will just post the difference on and on the very next date we will just reverse it similar to FI. So I am happy with the results and um, I agree to this 17.17 difference. So with that, I will just come back, back and now I would request posting. Okay, so posting requested means I need a recon key because this document, they are going to be a FICA document which will go to FI. So posting requested, then if I uncheck this do not create inverse posting that means the inverse posting that is on the very next date of the new month it will not be reversed okay so I will uncheck that means I want SAP to create that reverse posting I am going to run now and this time it is going to create a FICA document sorry two FICA documents one on 31st of July and the reversal one on 1st of August so let us execute so here if you go to the posting you will see that two documents are posted so what are the two documents these are the two documents okay so this is the one which is posted on 31st of july and this is the one which is a reversal document which is posted on 1st of august so let's see the first document and how does it look like so go to slash o f p e 3 and enter the document so you'll see in euro there is no difference when i go to euro there is no difference okay but when i double click the difference will be in dollar terms because in euro it remains 150 euro versus 150 euro but in dollar terms it gets changed so when you double click you will see this 17.17 the difference will be in dollar my accounting entry here is so from here i can see so this one is minus okay the uh, this item is minus and forex revaluation is debited that means there is a foreign exchange loss loss means the exchange rate has been unfavorable in our case and the another entry will be there which is a reversal of it which will be on 1st of august so let me show you the other entry okay so this is the other entry which is just a reverse of the other one so 17.17 and it is posted on 1st of august so this is the unrealized foreign exchange that is which is also known as forex revaluation so this forex revaluation happens in fica and this recon key will be closed and transferred to fi i have configured the gl accounts which are necessary for this foreign exchange revaluation to take place now i am going to actually collect this money so in this case this is a hundred dollar invoice so from customer i have posted a hundred dollar invoice so customer will pay me um, so customer will not pay me 150 because this 50 is already cleared so customer will pay me only 100 euro so whenever customer pays me 100 euro what will i do with euro i have to give the euro to the bank and i need to collect the dollar so we are concerned about how much dollar i am going to receive okay so now customer pays on say for 10th of august slash o f p 05 pay say 10th august so customer pays me on 10th of august the customer will pay in euro obviously because uh, the invoice was in euro the customer will pay in euro so customer will pay 100 euro against my contract account one save
so payment is received now when we receive the payment here the actual or realized gain or loss will take place because here the transaction has been settled the open item has been settled i invoice the customer worth 100 euro and the customer paid me 100 euro but there is a difference between the date of invoice versus the date when the payment is actually collected so the difference being here when the invoice was issued the exchange date was 1.23794 versus the when the payment is made the exchange date is 1.2345 so there is a realized gain or loss let's see in the payment document itself if i get inside this is my payment document number when i double click i will see a realized forex loss that means this is realized fx loss versus when i did the forex revaluation see it says loss from forex valuation this gl is loss from forex valuation this happens on the month end versus this in the payment document this is the actual realized loss that means when i collected the money i after collecting 100 euro when i try to convert it in using usd i found out that i will collect lesser usd so let's see how much euro have i collected i have collected 100 euro so the equivalent usd amount is 112.35 versus when i issued the invoice i was supposed to get 123.79 when i if i would have collected the money on the date of issue of inverse that is on 10th of july if i would have collected the money i would have collected 123.79 dollar versus when i actually collected the money i collected 112.35 that means i have collected less that means it is a loss and this loss is not reversible unlike the unrealized gain or loss this is the actual loss because we have incurred and we have received lesser amount in euros point of view so when you talk about euro for the customer there is no profit or loss because the customer i invoice the customer worth of 100 euro and the customer paid me 100 euro but for us the difference is that we have lost how much have we lost so if you go back so here we'll see in the realized fx 11.44 we have lost so this is all about forex revaluation in fica and also if you realize that this forex revaluation is incorrect so we have posted this fpw1 we have posted this forex revaluation on the month end but suppose later we realize that this forex revaluation is incorrect we can reverse this forex revaluation similar to fi so forex revaluation reversal t code is slash n or maybe slash o f p w 2 so this is f p w 1 for posting for reversal is f p w 2 you go there and you look for for company code 2409 and for key date 31 7 so you execute you will see there is one forex revaluation it was posted it was executed on this date at this time you can simply select and reverse it so here you have to enter a reconciliation key and click on continue so it says reversal successful that means if i go back and if i try to run it again i will not see any entry because the only entry there was it has been reversed i want to see the only reversed one so you select and hit f8 so you'll see these two revaluation has been reversed that means this is us and here someone else must have posted this revaluation so that is all for today's video if you think i'm doing a good job please press the like button and do subscribe to debit credit nation and in the comment below you can mention what other fica related videos you want to know also please be informed that i am going to start my next fica batch from 5th august 2023 if you want to join please call me in the number that i will share in the description below thank you so much Take care. Bye-bye.